Hey, what's going on? Josh from Zendesk. And today I'd like to show you how prospecting with Reach in Zendesk Cell works. If you're not familiar with Reach prospecting, it's a tool built into Cell allowing you to create targeted prospect lists without any of the manual legwork that's typically involved with creating prospecting lists. So let me show you how you can do it in Cell. First, I'm going to click on Add and select Prospect. When I do this, I'm going to open up the Reach Prospector. And this is something that's available when you add the Reach add-on as part of your cell packaging. The first thing that I'm going to do is select Find Companies. And I'll define which types of companies I want to contact. So in this case, I'll say that I want to speak with companies in California that are in the internet and software business. So I type these in, but I've got a ton of other filters that I can apply, including technology use, number of employees, annual revenue, tons of information here. But in this case, I know that there's just a couple of companies that I want to reach out to, so I'll go ahead and select them. So I pick a couple of companies, and then once that looks good, I'm going to find specific people at these companies. One thing to note is there's a dedupe feature which will look at the companies within Cell. And if I want to only show companies that are not within Cell, I can specify that so I'm not adding in duplicates. If you're just looking on the internet for companies to sell to, you don't have this deduplication. So this is a great feature of using Cell prospecting. Now that I've defined the companies I want to reach out to, I'm going to click on Find People. And this is where I define what types of people I want to reach out to at these companies. So first, I know that I want to reach out to directors. So I select directors. And then in, I know I want to speak with the salespeople at these companies. So I select sales. From here, I can see the top salespeople who are directors at each of the companies that I selected. And if I just check which folks I want to speak with, I can pick the top two in each company. And then I can review them. One thing to note is, Cell has automatically identified that this person is in my account already. So, and that's represented by the cell icon in the bottom right corner of the avatar here. So I'm going to deselect that one because I don't need to add this person. The other thing to notice is on the right hand side of the screen, I can see what types of information are available about each person. So in this case, email and phone number is available as well as LinkedIn. Once I have everything that I like, I select Review Prospects, and I review everyone that I'd like to add into my account. Now, rather than going through a messy import process, dealing with CSV files and mapping the data fields to the separate fields in Cell, I just need to hit Import, and Cell does all the work for me. When I select Import, I select Import Now, and it will go to work. Once everything's imported for me, I just hit the notification that tells me the import is complete, and I can view my whole list of information. And if you miss the notification, you can always access that by clicking on the notifications icon at the top of your screen. Now I have a whole list of people that I want that I can reach out to, and if I want to give them phone calls or send them bulk email, I can do that right from Cell. Let's say that there's, I know the name of the person that I'm adding into my Cell account, but I don't want to type in all the information manually. We've got an answer for that too. If I select Add Lead, I can begin to type a person's information. So if I were to type in, let's say, I know the person's email address, I can type in the email. And Cell will automatically look at the database and try to identify more information about this person. Here I can see that based on an email, it's able to find more information about the company. So I select that. And if I maybe made an error in the email, I can see that, oh, I can find a specific person. So I can hit Enrich. Cell will automatically enrich that for me, filling out all the pieces of information. So I don't have to manually type that in. And then I hit Save and View Lead. Everything's filled out for me automatically. I don't have to manually type that in. It's a huge time saver and a great way to add in rich details into your Cell account. So that's a quick look at how you can do prospecting from Zendesk Cell. If you have any questions, let us know. We'll be happy to help you out.